My name is Daniel Giddens, and um, I kind of did my research paper on the new widely spread idea on juuling. And so, um, you know, everywhere you look now, whether you're going to school, whether you're at church, you know, whether you're going to the bathroom even, you know, at a football game or a basketball game, wherever you're going, you're seeing teenagers participate in this new habit known as juuling. And so in this presentation, um, I'm going to talk about what juuling actually is a little bit, you know, why it's become so popular among um, the youth of America today, um, how it affects students in the classroom, you know, but more importantly, how it affects their health and their future. And then we're kind of going to see a few, um, not a lot, just a few reasons on how we can kind of help these people um, to realize what they're getting themselves into um, when they participate in this thing known as juuling. So let's start. You know, what exactly is juuling? Well, juuling is a new form of an e-cigarette. You know, it's the most popular one. Um, you know, it's a form of the e-cigarette or vape. And what happens is a person sucks on a mouthpiece, which is located on one end of the jewel, to release the vape. You know, that heat reaction causes the release of the vape. And then they inhale, which allows, you know, the nicotine in the vape to come through their lungs, you know, um, and, you know, it eventually sends dopamine to the brain, you know, causing the addiction and everything. We'll talk about that a little bit more later. But the main thing you want to realize right now is how it has a mouthpiece, you know, and it has a pod that connects to the end of it that contains um, that vape and that nicotine and everything. And that is all contained in those pods. Um, you know, jewels, they come in many different flavors. Um, we'll get a little bit into that. We can talk about how popular they've gotten. But they contain a lot of different flavors. Um, they're very small, about probably three or four inches long. Um, and so all these things contribute to um, this new, widely spread um, habit of juuling. So let's look at why it's so popular, some more reasons. You know, the first, I think, is just the location of where you can get it. Um, you know, basically every gas station, you know, supermarket, you know, whatever you want to look at, is selling these new things. Why? Because they're bringing in so much revenue. Um, you know, juuling is the most popular probably out of, um, every e-cigarette brand, every vape brand, you know, even probably I would put it up there with cigarettes um, just because of how popular it's grown. And stores are going to want to have this new popular item in their stores to bring in revenue. And so that is what they're doing, you know. And so everywhere you go, you can look and probably purchase a jewel um, with the right ID and everything. And so that is a main reason um, why it's becoming so popular just because of how accessible it is um, for teenagers today. Um, another reason is because of the inexpensive price. The average jewel itself, not the pod, is about $34.99, give or take a few dollars. Um, and the pods run for about $4 a piece, but you can order them um, in different packs, you know, three, four, five, however many you want in a pack, you can do that um, to kind of lower your cost a little bit. Um, but that inexpensive price, you know, allows many student, um, students or teenagers who work a part-time job or something to be able to afford it. So, you know, that uh, low cost is allowing them to be able to purchase these jewels and purchase them, um, the pods, more frequently. Um, you know, another reason I think it's so, um, you know, popular is just because of the lack of the smoke smell. You know, many teenagers, almost all teenagers will agree that smoke smells bad. You know, you don't want to smell um, smoky. Um, you know, you don't want that tobacco smell on you just because it's kind of gross, you know, and it sticks with you. And so the thing about juuling is it's not smoke smell or tobacco smell. It's actually like fruit flavored smell. You know, they have different types such as, um, you know, watermelon, strawberry, banana, cherry, you know, whatever you want, they pretty much have. They have mint and a few others. And so, you know, when you release that vape, that's the smell that's going to come out. That's the smell that's going to stick with you. And so instead of people saying, oh, she smells like smoke, they'll say, oh, she smells like watermelon. You know, these things contribute to that. Because no teenager wants to go around smelling like smoke. Um, well, there is, you know, separate occasions, but most people don't want to go around smelling like smoke all the time. Um, and the last reason I think it's so popular is because of the small size. These jewels, like I said earlier, are about three to four inches long. You know, they're very small. And this makes them um, very easy to carry in the classrooms, to work, you know, wherever you want to carry it. You can put it in your pocket, your front pocket, uh, back pocket, purse, wallet, wherever you want to put it, you can put it. It looks a lot like the flash drive, and the pods itself are very small, and they connect to the end of the jewel. Um, and so, you know, this small size allows students to take it into the classroom with them without teachers being able to notice. Um, it allows them to do all these different things with it. And so, you know, that is one of the main reasons I think that's so um, popular.
popular today, you know, the dual and stuff. So now I kind of want to shift gears a little bit and start looking at the effects it has on a student in their classroom. Um, you know, because ultimately as a future educator myself, you know, and as um, many people have looked and they want to see their kids um, succeed in school, you know, and do well and achieve to the best of their ability, um, you know, we want them to do that. So how is dueling hindering um, kids from doing that and students, you know, and all these different teenagers and groups of people? Number one, I think it's the lack of focus. You know, when a student has their jewel in class, they're going to want to use it in class. So instead of reading what the teacher wants them to read or um, studying what the teacher wants them to study, what they're going to do is they're going to look for opportunities to hit their jewel during the middle of class. And when they're doing that, there's no way they can concentrate and do really well um, and succeed in that particular subject. And that's a continuous thing, you know, from that addictiveness, you know, from the nicotine. Um, hits them, you know, they're going to want that feeling all the time. And so that is one reason, you know, I think dueling is killing our students in the classroom today, um, killing their ability to learn. It's just because of the lack of focus. Another one is because, um, kind of goes hand in hand with that, is the frequent bathroom breaks. Um, you know, kids, instead of them actually having to go to the bathroom, what they'll do is they'll go to the bathroom for 10 or 15 minutes, you know, and they'll hit their jewels a few times and come back to class. But the problem with leaving the classroom is, when you leave the classroom, you leave all the information that is being taught. And so, you know, if they're not getting the information that's taught on a daily basis, they're not going to do well in their tests. And if they don't do well in their tests, they're not going to do well in the class. And so, you know, lack of focus and frequent bathroom breaks, those go hand in hand. But they're two big reasons why students aren't being able to achieve academic success in the classroom. And the final reason, I think, um, and this is becoming more um, popular as we go today, is because of the um, discipline for using your jewel. You know, um, many schools are implementing in-school suspensions, out-of-school suspensions for those who participate in Julie um, on the campus property, you know, because they have to, because if they don't, um, it'll just run, you know, rampant. And so what they're doing is putting um, these in-school suspensions, out-of-school suspensions to make sure that these students um, abide by the rules and try to help them focus. But the problem is when they get caught with their jewel and they're not in the classroom, they're not going to learn there either. So, you know, whether they're in in-school suspension or out-of-school suspension, it's still going to affect um, how they learn. And that's not what we want them to do. We want ultimately them to realize the risks that it's, um, that dueling comes with and for them to know that themselves. And so now I kind of want to look at how it not only affects their success in the classroom, but how it affects their health. Um, you know, future health hazards that come along with dueling. Um, all of these are studied and proven. Um, you know, high blood pressure when you get older, that's very dangerous um, for many reasons. You know, lung disease, um, you know, when you participate in something, inhaling all that vape and um, all those things, you know, it's eventually going to corrupt your lungs and do um, some damage to that. Um, and it says impair brain development. You know, um, you know all of that nicotine and thinking that you need this 24-7, well, one day you're not going to have it. You know, you don't have it, it's going to mess you up. Um, you know, this brain development stuff, you know, that is something that's very dangerous to mess around with. And, um, you know, I think it's something that a lot of students just pass by, you know, all these health hazards that come with the future because they're thinking about now. But that is our job, you know, to inform them about this. Um, and then just the addictiveness of jeweling. Like I said, the amount of nicotine in a jewel pod compared to cigarettes is unbelievable. In one jewel pod, and I know people who go through one jewel pod a day, um, in one jewel pod there's about... 240 um, milligrams of nicotine, um, and that is about equal to 20 cigarettes. Um, so it's very, very dangerous, you know, because of the addictiveness there. And so, you know, there's lots of um, risk when you're looking at just the health involved, you know, the future health, you know, the health now, you know, there's lots of risk in that. And so, you know, how do we respond to this widespread, widespread habit, you know, because we obviously can't just eliminate it. Well, what we can do is, you know, we can inform teenagers on how it's affecting them in the classroom and how it's affecting their health. You know, we can tell them, you know, this is why you're doing bad in the classroom because you're addicted to this and you don't want to focus. You know, this is why um, one day you're going to have high blood pressure. You're going to have all these problems because you're addicted to this thing now and you're not looking towards the future. So we can inform them um, by using seminars, education classes, um, you know, health signs, um, you know, whatever it may be. But it is our job as a community to um, inform these students on what they're getting themselves into.